looking for magic carps at flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code lvd for a 15 percent discount on orders over ten dollars while supporting the channel at the same time so how do we build around Krenko? Whenever Krenko, Tin Street, Kingpin attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it, and then make a number of one one red goblin creature tokens equal to Krenko's power. So I guess pump spells work well with Krenko, ways to give it haste. And then of course, burn spells to kind of clear a path in the early game doesn't hurt. How low curve do we want to make the deck? Are we going to play like a 20 land deck or... The problem with playing low curve decks is that it's going to be difficult to replay Krenko once it dies once, since we'll need a bit of mana to replay it. Yeah, Banner and Icon are definitely good ones. Do we have a lot of goblins, actually? I guess we do have a fair amount. This could be a ringleader deck if we find enough goblins. Probably don't have enough card draw for Mad Ratter to really work. So what are the playable goblins? Bannerets, maybe Spears Pure, Dodger, Courier. Is this a goblin? It is. All right. Amber Hauler, Crater Maker, Ordinary Goblin, Clamor Shaman, Smuggler, Warboss, maybe Ratcap, maybe Raiders. I guess there's quite a few playable goblins. We're at uh, 41 cards already. So we could go kind of goblin tribal. The only payoff cards really are uh, the Icon of Ancestry, I guess. So that's that's the only real payoff for being heavy goblins. And ringleaders, the other payoff for being heavy goblins. Don't have to play all of them, can cut some of the weaker ones, but I don't mind going for a heavy goblin theme. Definitely one to two red lands. Then basically play all, all the good pump spells we can get. So barge in, infuriate. The melee could be okay. Shock, somewhat sprint for sure. Uh, cavalcade seems okay, we've got a lot of one ones. Maybe. Uh, what else? This seems good with all the pump spells. Uh, Shieldbreaker seems quite decent with all the mana artifacts. Heartfire seems good with all the tokens we can make. Lava Coil, decent removal. Jaius Greeting, probably good enough. Could also play uh, Maniacal Rage, but maybe that's going to all in. Yeah, we'll get to the Torbran in a second. Don't you worry. Mask of Emulation has a bit of synergy with Krenko if we get the tokens going. But it's not great beforehand. Robber of the Rich seems good. Steamkin seems good. Dragonfire's okay. Could play 7-7 seven, seven Dwarves, but I think we have a, enough 2-drops as is. Um, sure Strike, sure. Thrill, discards, lands. Um, Act of Treason could be good enough. It's a bit of a gamble. Giant seems good. Chandra could be okay. Buccaneer could be playable. Non-human skets. Yeah, this could be fine too. A light of the stage for sure. Risk factor seems okay. Skewer. Sling fire for sure. Tibalt could be fine too, potentially. Four mana Chandra could also be serviceable. Got some options. Don't mind Frenzy. Uh, probably don't want Fires. Doesn't seem necessary. And 
and then pretty much Torbran, and then our deck is done. Anything else we're missing? Oh yeah, the banner in the artifacts, and we'll probably play the two mana signet. Cavalier could be fine. Searing Barrage, probably a bit too expensive for what it does. Could play Sarkon and or Chandra, but maybe that's going too high up the curve. And we can do fine without them. Ambercleave seems great though. Command Tower doesn't do anything for me. Could play a Karn's Bastion to proliferate Krenko. But don't want to play too many non-red lands since we have a few adamant cards. And that are pretty good. And then... Uh, yeah, probably one Signets and probably one Banner. And Tome seems okay too. Alright, is this our deck? Gonna make quite a few cuts. So I think I'm okay with going lower curve and cutting the 5 and 6 mana planeswalkers. And then maybe just cut some of the weaker goblins like Aeronauts, Assault Team. Uh, what else? Don't love the Spear Spewer. So that's maybe cuttable. We'll put those in the maybe pile since it doesn't attack for Embercleave. The ones are fine. Ordinary Goblins, questionable. Not sure about Cavalcade, I'll have to look at the numbers. Those seem fine. Clamor Shaman's questionable. Smuggler's weak compared to some other ones. I don't mind the Rat Cap since we have a few pump spells to synergize with it. The Rat Cap, this one seems a bit weaker. Ferocity maybe not at its best. It is potentially an Anthem effect for the tokens, but we gotta get the tokens going in the first place, and otherwise this doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah, I could play Rimrock Knight, probably should have it here. Uh, risk Factors may be cuttable too. Skewer seems fine, Slingfire seems great. I think I like the bolts. Make a few tokens, get a few synergies with it. Same with Chandra, and then Icon. How many goblins do we have now? Um, 14. Well, odds of hitting one or more are about 55%, which is not amazing. I think I can cut it, and then I'm just not going to play the bad goblins. Yeah, also minus one because Kranko is our commander, which we can't find with it. All right, and I also have a bunch of goblins in the maybe pile. So yeah, maybe maybe we cut the goblin theme and just play good cards instead. Maybe that's a better idea. So Fervent Champion's back in. So yeah, let's cut all the bad goblins. Cavalcade is still a maybe. The risk factor is a maybe. Uh, Ginger Brute could be fine. Not great synergy with Torbrand, so that's kind of why I'm hesitant. Grim Initiate could be better than some of the other ones. Score Spitter could be okay. Crater Makers easily cuttable. The Rat Cap might still be fine with all the pump spells we have. Yeah, I'm probably going to cut a few lands. Cavalcade seems fine. Do I want to play Chandra Spitfire if I play Cavalcade? Probably. Although, how likely am I to assemble that combo? Not very. How good is Spitfire by itself? Medium. 
Don't have a ton of uh, ways to trigger it other than burn spells. So I, I don't think I want Cavalcade then. And Risk Factor is kind of mopey. And then I can easily play like 22 lands maybe. Maybe even 21. Yeah, Banner and Cavalcade is also a bit of a nombo. Could cut the Thrill of Possibility if we don't think we have time to play it. Don't have a ton of synergy with it. Yeah, let's cut it. All right, so 22 lands, low curve, few pump spells and ways to give Cranko haste. Could also play the drawbridge, maybe I should, as another way to give Cranko haste. Should probably be in here. What do I cut to make room for it? Oh yeah, crystal slippers may be better. Could play both. But slipper seems pretty good. Like, I don't get to curve turn 2 slipper into turn 3 Krenko and attack, whereas I can with the drawbridge, so maybe I want both. Yeah, let's play both. So, gonna make two cuts. What do we cut? Grim Initiates can go. Also, the Torch Courier can give Cranko haste, so that's sweet. Yeah, Spitter is also kind of a Cavalcade card. It's still okay by itself as kind of a 1 mana 2 1 of sorts. That can deal a bit of early damage. Spitter also has synergy with Torbran. The Jumpstart haste instead of Summit Sprint. The nice thing about Sprint is that it also gives plus 2 power, so that's a lot of extra goblins with Cranko. Could play both. But yeah, maximize. Velocity could be fine. Just play all the ways to give Krenko haste and kind of build around it a bit more. Yeah, I can target my own creature with claim, so that could be fine too. All right, fine. We'll just go all in on the haste. So gonna make three more cuts. Maybe the Ember Hauler can go. Yeah, it's kind of tough to make these last cuts, but I do like what's going on. So how about I cut two of these three? Maybe shave the dragon fire. And then the rat cap. Try this. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Yeah, turn two signet and then turn three Cranko plus haste is great. Turn two signet plus one drop is great. I think you undervalue signet if you think it shouldn't be in the deck. This card is just busted. Bastion's probably good enough to go with Krenko. Got a couple Planeswalkers. But I don't want to overdo it since we have cards like Slaying Fire with Adamant. And I have to double spell some red cards as well. Maybe Mobilize Districts. So yeah, this seems fine. I guess it's a good excuse to use the Chandra Sleeves. Alright, I'm pretty excited to try this out. Alright, so this hand has a way to give Krenko haste, but uh, only two lands. It's not bad. I've got turn one red cap, turn two robber, but it's kind of missing the third land for Krenko, which is potentially a problem. No removal that's easy to use. Hard fire is a bit awkward to clear a path. This one's borderline. I guess I'll try it. Being on the draw means we've got an extra turn to draw land, potentially. If they play a creature, I can maybe scry with a greeting to find land 3. Question is, do I play the crank on 3 or do I wait until I can velocity it? That's a pretty good target. Hmm. <laughs> I think I still want a greeting, even though this deals one more damage just to get this cry. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. 
And then I'm not sure yet if I'm supposed to Krenko or wait. Serpent X equals 3. Well, I can still hard fire it at least. I think I'm just gonna play Krenko and pass. Could have attacked, but if my opponent blocks, I don't want to waste my turn pumping Redcap. Right, so no removal, please. Right, that's an aggressive attack. I guess they can uh, untap with the Manifold key. Fair enough. Could also maximize velocity. And uh, just attack with Granko. It's going to be bigger than the Serpent. Yeah, that seems fine. Opponent takes it. I think I want to keep up my instance. And say go. Ooh, main face castle locked way in activation. That's pretty desperate. Should I hard fire now? Can probably wait. Alright, guess, uh, guess Krenko got it done. I mean, the card is pretty punishing. Lots of decks can get pretty dirtly. And Krenko demands an answer. Let's try another one. Facing niv is gonna be a real test. Now this hand, I don't love. Don't have any proactive one or two plays. Only two lands. Just kind of an awkward hand in general. Eh, this is better. A bit land heavy, I guess. What is this? Two mana. Scorn, sure. Probably implies that they have an answer for Krenko. So I think I'm gonna go turn 3 table, turn 4 Krenko haste. That sounds reasonable. They won't expect the haste. Hopefully. Huh. I guess that doesn't let me play Krenko and haste it. That's too bad. Well, I can just play a Planeswalker, that seems good. And then next turn, go for it. Could play Drawbridge and say go, but then they'll see it coming. Don't have to minus again, can keep the bolt in case of a sweeper. But they would be sweeping two devils, so that's fine. So this is uh, Dovind, so it doesn't deal any damage. Put a missing green mana. Curious. Your defects don't seem to bother you. Hopefully we get a window here. Nope. Opponent's gonna hang back with four mana, so likely holding up removal. Well, they'll have to use it on my war boss instead. Maybe a sweeper. I 
I could barge in. I don't think I will. A solid hit. All right, so if they sweep me, I can recover with Krenko plus Velocity. Yep. So... <laughs> yeah, th this is from the Tybalt's alternate art. The tokens have, like, the missing image. Alright, that should work. So, Krenko. Hasty Krenko. Is this a disfigure? Alright, no disfigure. Oof. I was worried for a second. And then I gotta go full control, I guess. And then in response to the trigger. And we're just gonna go all in here. No holding back. Eh, not bad. Crank was only two power, but we did get seven goblins, so they'll need another sweeper here. Opponent seems to be in trouble here. Take out the ferry for good measure. This is hardly my worst defeat. All right. Well, that was uh, pretty sweet. Hasty Krenko got the job done. Um, no haste, but pretty reasonable hands. Yeah, Vraska does line up well against Krenko, sadly. Signet is okay here. If I were to draw one mana haste, grant her I could go Cranko haste. Might just be better off playing Rimrock Knight. This one's close. Because saving the Rimrock Knight to pump Cranko, of course, would be pretty nice. Witch's Oven. Alright. Well, I think I gotta take my chance and play Cranko. And then we'll get one nice attack in with the barge in. Before they can Vraska it. No! Murderous Rider. We tried. Alright, I guess I'll attack and light up the stage. So the Lava Coil's pretty dead if my opponent plays Vraska. Could just play Giants, but I would rather keep it for the shock. Yeah, so if they play Vraska minus, then I can take Vraska out pretty easily and replay Krenko. So we'll see. Now they're giving me a nice target for Lava Coil. So that works out, I guess. They can sack it to the oven to make uh, food. Yeah. 
and play Hasty Robber. Just a land, sadly. Well, I guess my opponent wants to draw that land, so we denied it. Like they denied our Krenko, it's only fair. Sure. Alright, so they will have a Vraska next turn. So haste spell off the top would be nice. Didn't think I'm shocking face quite yet. Alright, Chandra's not bad. So, we'll attack first. I guess I could draw a haste creature with Chandra, but I might also draw something from the opponent I want to cast. Just a land again. I guess my opponent's almost dead here. Ah, oh, I would have had a haster, but not uh, enough mana to play Krenko. Eh, that's fine. Also, probably shouldn't have played my land firsts. Alright, I mean, they've got a food, so that's a bit more life, but... Oof, that was rough. Four mana sweeper, one-sided sweeper. Alright, that works. So, I guess I'm fine just shocking face now. Hope to find a haste creature. I can also proliferate, but that's not quite enough to ultimate yet. Kills the token. So they get to deny the scry. Put the next turn I can ultimate Chandra, which should be enough. Could have also played Krenko. So yeah, they're just dead to Chandra ult. Unless this is uh, the one mana sack a creature destroy planeswalker. Oh wow. They had it too. That's kind of crazy. Well, I'm out of options now. Well, let's hope you're out of removal opponents, because otherwise we're in trouble. Yeah, we missed twice on the Robber of the Rich, and then they kind of clawed their way back into the game. Alive. Alive. Up to five. Sure. Are they dead? I think they're dead. Can also use Karn's Bastion. So, let's go full control, attack, face, trigger, infuriate, barge in, resolve, resolve, ah, they didn't let me do it. And then the Krenko trigger would resolve, and then afterwards we can still proliferate to add one extra counter, which doesn't make an extra goblin, but does add one power to Krenko. 
All right, it was a, a close game. Opponent almost clawed their way back into the game there, but uh, yeah, Kranko delivering the beatdowns thanks to those spawn spells. Well, I'm pretty impressed by the performance overall. We were able to kind of combo kill our opponents out of nowhere pretty quickly, but we were also able to play a bit of a longer game thanks to some of our planeswalkers. Then we have cards like Experimental Frenzy, of course, that can help us in a late game. Embercleave seems great. And a lot of the rat staples that you are used to seeing. Arcane is also great with all those pump spells. Shieldbreaker, like almost every game we've played, there's some random artifact we can kill with it. And yeah, a lot of ways to give haste. So how many do we have total? We have the Claim the Firstborn, which can always target Krenko. Velocity, that's two. Sprint is three. Then we've got the a drawbridge that's four, and then the slipper that's five. Am I missing one? That's a lot of ways to give Krenko haste. So that's pretty appealing. And yeah, lots of ways to see more cards. Some sweet lands, the Karn's Bastion came in handy, letting us potentially ultimate Chandra or add more counters to Krenko. We've got some other planeswalkers. Dwarven Mine is great, and then Castle Amberth is amazing too, so. Yeah, pretty happy with overall how the deck ended up, and we'll definitely be playing some more Krenko in the future. But uh, for now, let's try out some other decks. So I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.